today is we're going to build a Spanish donkey. And it's a very simple design, but very effective. Back in the medieval times, they would build pretty much a sawhorse, a tall sawhorse with a sharp point in the middle. And they would stick the victim on it. Of course, it'd be tall. Then they would put weights on the legs and uh, that helped pull you apart and cut you apart. Your body weight alone ain't gonna pull you apart, but that's why they added the weights to it and they pull you apart and get any kind of confession they want out of you or death or whatever it may have been. So we're gonna make a make one and it's a I'm hoping it's gonna be a simple version. I've never made this stuff before. So I'm making it up as I go. I just look at look at pictures online. There's nothing saying, hey, it needs to be 20, 20 inches here and 10 inches there. So I'm making it up as I, as I go. So we're gonna make ours look like a, sort of kind of like a donkey. So we're gonna put a face on it and different stuff like that. So it's gonna be a little bit different. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. It might look goofy, but you know, back in the day, they, they was rugged and rough looking. So it, 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 I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Anyway, with that being said, guys, make sure you go and check out Cobwebs and Candlesticks uh, YouTube channel and check out the Weird Kid Horse Show uh, YouTube channel. Those two guys are always building something. Uh, Keith just did a, a book of the dead. Turned out pretty awesome. And uh, Weird Kid just made a mummy hand. Man, that thing looks realistic. I, I'm a mummy fanatic anyway. So go and check out their channel. Show them some love. Uh, subscribe and all that stuff to them and whatnot. Anyway guys, enough rambling. Let's get started on this. And uh, I'm gonna start mine off at four foot. I'm not sure what angle to use yet. I don't want them too far out. So I'm gonna put my legs in as close as possible. So I'll figure out the, the angle and go from there.
what I got guys. I got a root and crude <laughs> picture of a donkey or a horse or whatever you want to call it. I just drew it out by pencil freehanded because I'm not an artist. I am not trying to make it pretty, you know, perfect to scale. But uh, the pictures I'm seeing, it's supposed to be old and crappy looking anyway. I wish I had the old, if I had old logs and old posts and stuff like that, I would have used that instead of wood. And, uh, but since I don't, maybe that'll be a later date. I can do that. I know it's kind of hard to see guys, but we're going to try to screw this bad boy. Got his head cut down and I think we can stick it on there. We'll put some rope in his mouth. We'll put some ears on him. Uh, we'll put a mane down his back. And uh, I think it'll look pretty good. We're going to try it anyway, see what happens. Let me get a drill bit. I don't want that split on So there we go guys, we got the medieval Spanish donkey. 
So what happens is they set up here, put weights on their legs and it splits them apart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the other garage. I'm gonna stain it. Uh, I'm gonna put a main on it and put a tail on it and see how that, see how that looks. All right guys, we're back at my garage. So uh, it poured the rain down on us coming home. Uh, there's the Spanish, for, or the Spanish donkey. So what we're gonna do, uh, he's still wet, but I think we, it'll be fine. <clears throat> we're gonna put a mane on him and a tail on him. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So what I got guys is old mop heads. All dirty, scrunchy and stuff. And this is what we're gonna use to uh, put our mane on and uh, go from there. All I'm using guys is roofing tax. About inches and a quarter long, inch and a half. So there we go. Horse's tail. Let's see if this is. There it is guys, there's my Spanish donkey. Uh, it was a fun easy build. Uh, there's his face, I just pre-handed that. So, mop hair and I took the ends I cut off and I made him a mane. Piece of hemp rope, so there he is. And uh, like I said before, they would put you on their crotch Put your crotch on there, put weights on your legs, and uh, cut you in half. There's his mop tail. It's raining, so I'm gonna make this short right here. But I wanted to show you this as best I could. All right. I'll try to get a couple pictures of it and take it and uh, put them at the end of the video.